So we're at here with this 2020 Toyota Camry, little front end collision. Refrigerant analysis, 100% pure YF. I performed the recovery with the NAVAC recovery, which is in my previous videos, has been the fastest, absolutely best recovery machine I've ever used. Um, okay, the next thing to go through, the uh, technician on this job asked me if I had the special tool to take off this little clip right here for a liquid line. Now, sometimes you usually could do this by hand. These get brittle and they break. I've seen them break a few locations at some job sites. And the guys put them back in, didn't know they were broken. And when I filled them up, they popped off. And if you lose $100, $200, $300 of YF refrigerant into the air, the owner of the shop is not very happy. So I told them in advance, order new clips every time you get one of these just to be safe. Do not risk it, the cost for a clip. So what if it's $5 for a clip or two or $300 in lost refrigerant? Your choice. Okay, now that we got that note. So the recovery was performed by the NAVEC recovery system. This is the four cylinder model. This is the best one. And you can see we're in all the way into the micron level under a vacuum recovered refrigerant. We're in 900. The worst thing a technician can do right now is open up the line to replace the component. You just recovered refrigerant out of the system. So it got really cold inside. If I put a temperature thermometer probably on the bottom of the condenser, the bottom of the uh, receiver dryer, or the bottom of the evaporator, it's probably somewhere around 40 degrees and maybe even below. So you have very moist, humid air that contains a lot of water. So when you would remove a clip, it would instantly suck in air in the system and when that air hits the cold metal surfaces that have just been chilled down from the recovery procedure of lowering the pressure on the refrigerant that causes it to lower its temperature it would condensate out the water into a liquid water form out of the air into the refrigerant oil that's coating all the lines and everything like that you have a massive contamination of oil refrigerant so in this procedure you get your nitrogen tank you have dry nitrogen in there you put it on your regulator and you're going to just roughly with zero to one psi so we have it in negative right now let me open it up open it up and watch here you'll see the pressure go up okay we're at negative 16 another little shot negative nine we're right around zero. I'm gonna go about positive, say two, three, that's fine. Okay, I'm done. So that's all what needs to be done. So now the system, positive pressure, dry nitrogen. You will not be sucking in air and flashing it into a liquid water form to contaminate the refrigerant oil that you most likely will not be getting out under normal vacuuming procedures that most shops do because most shops are lazy ignorant cheap uh, or just don't know and uh, which is in that ignorant lack of education and they pull these quick little vacuums and it leaves all the water and moisture stuck into refrigerant oil when these are peg or ester oil that's a huge problem so now that we have that taken care of turn off all our pressures all our knobs and valves are closed we're gonna come back here to this little clip and if you can see where my finger is pressing here and my finger is gonna press right here sometimes you know I can't I'm gonna to have to use a wrench um, needle nose can I get a pair of your needle nose I gotta take your clip off over there so you can take it off right now left mine in my tool bag.
that way or is it that way? It's not that way. Oh, 